Hi guys, Ian from footballboots.co.uk here and today we are doing it, we are putting the Mercurial Superfly in the wash. Um, there's a few things to talk about first before we actually go ahead and do it, so um, I'm just going to pull them out of the bag here and um, let's get started. Now, um, the first thing to think about is you need to make sure they are nice and clean, so if you haven't already, go check out um, our video of how to clean the Superfly and um, you don't want them to be covered in mud and all that kind of stuff when you put them in the wash um, so please make sure you watch our, our first video and get them as clean as possible before you put them in there we're concentrating on getting rid of those kind of um, real stubborn little bits of um, grime and stuff that you just can't get off them but also that um, the smell yeah that's probably the one thing that you end up with these boots is they do start to stink a bit so um, we're going to try and put them in the wash and um, go from there um, we will be using a little bit of detergent um, we're not going to be like pouring it right in there or anything like that, um, but we will be putting a bit in and I'll get into that um, shortly with a few more specifics. Okay, um, the first thing to think about is what you're going to put in the machine with them. Um, let's get on to that. So it's important to make sure that you're not going to wash your, uh, your boots with anything important. So um, we've got a few things in here that we're just going to take out and we want to make sure we look after so we won't be washing these things today. Put them in a separate load. Okay, so you're going to get your boots and um, the first thing to do is to take out the sock liner. Sock liner doesn't need to go in there, it's just going to help them get um, cleaned up a bit better. So no need for the sock liner. Well, just destroying the place. Okay, another sock liner, take that out, don't need that. Right, we want to think about protecting the boots as much as possible when we put them in there. So the first thing I'm going to grab is a pillowcase, okay? and I'm uh, just going to drop them into the pillowcase to protect them. Alright, so they're in there, they're nice and protected. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to be thinking about a little bit more protection um, and that is going to be using a towel. So I'm going to get a towel and I'm just going to wrap it around the boots as much as possible and that just gives them some real nice protection. I'm just going to follow that up with another towel and probably one third one. They're just going to be wrapped up real nicely in there. Okay, and I'll just go to the last one. All right, so we're nearly ready to put them in the machine. Just set them there for now. Um, and we're going to start talking about detergent and settings and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, okay, so settings wise, going to turn on the machine. Um, this is a front loader. If you've got a top loader, it doesn't matter. It's the same kind of principles apply. Um, and settings wise, I'm just kind of talking generally. Um, so um, I'm going to go for what I have on here, which is a quick wash. So you want to use the quickest wash setting that you have possible, really. Um, I've got a few choices of temperature wise. Now, um, these are in um, centigrade, so convert to Fahrenheit if you need to. Um, I've got a cold wash. I'm not going to use that today because I want to get rid of some of the smell. So um, I'm going to knock it up to 30 which is that one level above the cold as you can see there. Um, another important thing to think about is the, the, the spin cycle that it does. Um, it's going to spin, you don't want it to spin too much because you want to look after the boots. So I'm just going to go um, on the lowest spin setting here um, and the reason for that is it's not going to spin around too much, it's not going to attack the boots too much and um, we'll just let them dry out naturally afterwards. So that's a really important thing, make sure you let them dry out naturally afterwards. Okay, so I'm happy on um, my temperature, I'm happy on my spins. Um, I'm now going to go ahead and put the, the parcel in as such. Alright. Um, other thing is I am just going to put in a splash of detergent. Just thinking like maybe like a teaspoonful. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, but I do want to put in a little bit just to look after them. And um, right, that's it. And then we just hit go. I'm going to find out in 33 minutes how these are looking. Um, we'll probably do a little time lapse, speed this up for you. And um, when we take them out at the end, we'll be finding out what's happened to the superflies. We're pretty confident that they're going to be in good shape.
All right, moment of truth. Let's have a look and see what happened. Um, if you may have noticed that one of the boots actually managed to pop out of the pillowcase, um, we'll see if the carbon fiber is still in one piece and let's have a look and see what the boots are looking like. The tail's pretty wet, we'll put those on another spin in a minute. So we've got one boot still in the pillowcase. Um, my suggestion for when you do this, um, if these boots are in one piece and it is worth doing, then is to take your um, pillowcase and just tie a knot in it before you put it in the machine. Yeah? Um, that way you're not gonna have your, your boots fall out as we did. All right, so let's take a look at the one that's still in the machine here. Here it is. It's looking pretty shiny. And that's good, isn't it? Um, I'm not really seeing any kind of major issues. Another thing I might consider suggesting is perhaps you should probably tie your laces when you do it. Obviously I haven't here, but they look pretty nice and shiny and, and clean there. Definitely in one piece still, so that's good. Smells good, that's always good news. And um, if you look at the colour around here as well, you're not noticing any of the mud, mud or muck or things that we had, so that's come up pretty nicely as well. Right, let's just grab the other one out of the, of the bag here and we'll see what's going on. This one's looking pretty good too. They definitely come out really nicely, really happy with the way they're looking. Um, so yeah, pretty sweet. Um, remember if you do decide to do this, is at your own risk. We do not take any responsibility for your decision to put them in the wash, but if you need to, nicely go for it. Worked out pretty well for us. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, we're gonna go dry them out. Um, you should probably know how to dry out your boots. Um, if you don't, just stuff a whole bunch of newspaper in there and check out our other video about cleaning the boots because that talked a little bit about um, drying them out as well. But just don't put them near a heat source or anything like that. Let them dry out really slowly, really naturally, and um, that should do the business. All right, guys, uh, until next time, we'll have some more videos. Go subscribe to the channel and enjoy your football. Thanks.